So on this project, I have a 79 Trans Am. This is my wife's car. I have removed the dash. Before I had YouTube, because I'm fairly new to YouTube, I started uh, putting the tweeters on top of the dash. I fiberglassed all this in. I have installed a new billet handle. Took the factory handle off and I have put this on so that when I put the vinyl in, maybe I can have a uh, Pontiac emblem on the dash. Put the tweeter over here, fiberglass this in. I used um, fleece. Uh, I built a ring out of MDF and I glued it on and then put fleece around it, fiberglass the whole top of the dash. Got it smooth, fiberglassed around here. Got this all smooth. So now I'm ready to wrap this in vinyl. So I bought this really, really stretchy vinyl. But this is four-way stretch. But still, it doesn't matter how much that I'm able to stretch this. I'm not going to be able to have enough fabric after I come around everything and slice it. It's just not going to work. After I slice it and uh, try to push it down in here, I'm not even going to have enough fabric, even if it does stretch. So that being said, I'm going to use a fleece, not a fleece, um, suede. That's what I bought. Some suede material to go in here. And then I'm going to use this four-way stretch to go on, on uh, the outside. This looks like leather. So now I'm going to have an edge where these two meet. And the suede will also help my gauges not um, reflect at night to where it might be hindrance of the view of everything, kind of glare and stuff. So I think that'll absorb some of the glare. So now what I've decided to do is I took this quarter inch round aluminum bar and I have bent this pretty much to the shape that I'm going to need. So now what I'm going to do... This is quarter inch bar, so I'm going to have to have a groove to glue this down into. And the seams are going to come together underneath the bar, and I'll glue the bar in. This is about a 32nd of an inch. I'm going to put a 32nd of an inch on one side, and I'm going to have um, the suede. I'm going to measure it, and it should be pretty close to the same thickness. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut a groove the size of this to fit down in with the material as well. And then I will cover the inside, cover the outside, and then glue the aluminum down in the trench that I've cut. I don't know exactly how I'm going to cut this yet. Um, it needs to be pretty straight, so it's going to be very, very time-consuming to get this right. I think I will use some masking tape and then get this fitted exactly where I want it with the masking tape and just tape it on there and then like trace around the edges maybe and then I will know exactly where kind of where this needs to go uh, kind of play this just as I go here there's a fly that's aggravating the crap out of me here it keeps landing on my head alright so anyway I don't need any distractions, so uh, I'm going to have to kill a fly, but after I do that, I'm going to see if I can dig this trench, and uh, I'll update you guys as I go here. This can be pretty hard for me. It's not what I do for a living or anything, so if I can do this, you guys can do it, I'm sure. Alright, let's see what I can do. So I got my little air dremel, and I put just a little stone on here. Kind of like a little cut wheel. So, I tried not to cut too deep. I went ahead and uh, I cut in between my two white lines. And I went ahead and cut just a little bit of my white line. So, maybe it's enough. I might have to cut just a hair more. But, I do need to bend it a little bit more in a couple areas. To get it to sit just a little bit more even all the way around. Especially right here. This is the worst part. 
I can push this, but it pushes it out over here. So I may just have to bend that in just a little and down just a little. So it'll sit a little bit more flush. That's the worst part, this one little spot. So now at this point, uh, maybe tomorrow night, I will do my um, suede. I'm going to do my suede in here and overlap it inside the groove. And I'll glue that in good. And then I will come back another night. I'm working after work here. Just a little bit at a time here. And I'll cover my vinyl on the rest of the dash, and then I will try to polish this up and get it bent to where it fits a little bit better, and then start gluing it in. I'm planning on using this, uh, this CA glue, but this is the uh, lightweight, this is the medium, and I'm going to have to order another piece of the uh, thicker another uh, tube of the thicker stuff that's kind of like uh, super glue you glue it in and you're able to hold the piece and work with it a little while and this here is the activator until you spray that activator on there it's not going to harden very quick if you get it on you or on a uh, your table or whatever you, you want you want to get it back off you can use this solvent and get it back off so CA glue all that so uh, and I'm also going to use this weld wood Landau top this is contact cement so it'll have to go on both pieces so whenever I go to put the vinyl on here I'll have to brush it on I'm not going to paint it on with a sprayer I'm just going to brush it on with a chip brush Here's an old one, it's just a cheap brush. Those are just a few cents a piece if you get them in bulk. So I'm gonna brush that on here and then on the back side of my material, we'll say I was gonna use this, I'd brush it on here and I'd let it sit for just a few minutes until it doesn't feel tacky or wet. And then I would be able to stick it and it would stay really good. That glue is really, really strong. So. Uh, I'll probably uh, just try to glue this tomorrow night and then show y'all what it looks like after that. So, uh, alright, I'll update you later. Alright guys, I really don't know where I was at on this dash here. I took a few days off and worked on another project. But uh, I've got the suede put on the inside. I've got the groove cut for the quarter inch aluminum bar that I have shaped. So now I'm gluing this vinyl on top of the dash. This is going to be very hard. I've got contours all over it, even added contours. These are for the speakers to fit the tweeters on top. So this contouring around is going to be a nightmare. So there was no way to fold this around to the inside where the gauges are going to fit so what I've had to do this didn't even really fit right I had to make a seam in this suede I really hope that doesn't show too bad this suede is, is super thin the glue that I used I put it on real real thin as well but it still bled through in a couple spots if it's too bad visible I will try to replace this before I get this glued in place or basically it'll be done at that point. So now what I'm doing is I'm waiting on this glue to tack up, get it halfway cured. Uh, this contact cement has to kind of set a little bit before you can stick it down. I'm just waiting a few minutes. thought I'd take a little video here. Um, try to keep you guys updated a little bit as I go here. But once I get to this edge right here, it's going to get a little bit tedious, I think. Maybe I can get it right. I just I may have to use heat. I may not. This stretch is real good, but I still may have to use heat. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and do the top. Get it completely stuck. 
and I'll go ahead at that point and do this center piece uh, maybe halfway down it that way I don't close myself in to do this edge over here and around once I get all the way around it then I'll most likely cut it at this seam that I've cut and then glue it around the seam glue it down in this hole that I've made and then uh, try to get this side over here done and then work on the middle as I go not to close myself in be careful not to back yourself up into a corner because then you'll have part of your dash with no glue on it so work small spots at a time I'm not a professional I'm just kind of winging it here and uh, hopefully this quality of uh, video is good because my phone is bouncing for some reason but I'm gonna go ahead and stick this piece and work a little bit more tonight and I'll update you as I go all right I'm done for tonight this right here is going to fight me severely this actually may not work for me I may have to try something different this is fighting me down here but that's not a big deal because it stops right there so I can just stretch this however I need wrap it under glue it call it a day on both ends I can do that it's just really really fighting me super struggle here I'll have to wrap it around, but this edge right here ends right there, and there's a seam right here where I'll cut, so I can pull this around and stretch it. Um, there's a knot right there i got to look underneath and see what's going on. I don't want that knot, but uh, I actually tried to stick my glue down too early right here. It bubbles up when you do that, so I'll just have to peel this back and reattach that glue get it to hold better do not rush this this glue really needs to tack before you try to start sticking it down you cannot get in a hurry so maybe that'll hold I've already pulled it back and put it down once now that I've had to pull it up there's not much of an air pocket here for it to try to cure while it's held up so may get some toothpicks or something if you have to do this and stand it off until that tacks up and then you can pull your toothpicks out and then just fold it down. So even though I put it back down again, it's still fighting me. So I'm pretty tired. I'm always tired when I'm out in the shop because it's always after work. But this is definitely going to be for another day. That is going to fight me hard. But it only goes down about that far, about maybe five and a half inches right there. And then it stops where the glove box is right there. So I'm hoping that that will work. We'll see. If not, um, I'll try something different. So, uh, all right. Until next time, I'll keep you updated. All right, guys, I'm actually off today. I'm working out here this morning. It's chilly outside, so I thought I'd uh, try to knock this dash out real quick before I worked on my other truck outside, so uh, I don't have room in the shop for everything. So what I'm doing is doing this dash. I actually worked on it last night, and I've come up with a solution on a lot of things. I will take my heat gun, and I'll actually heat this area up with the heat gun, and then I'll pull it down real tight stretch it around some of these curves actually prior to putting the glue down so it's working out pretty good I just work a little bit at a time I did this section because I'd already done this section and that allowed me to flip this whole piece back and then do a little bit at a time and work my way around now I've still got to trim out this whole thing but the main thing is to get it stretched over what you're really going to see. So I've still got some of this here that I've got to work and, and get pulled down into this groove. And this is going to have to shrink. So I'm just going to have to wiggle it and work it and try to get it to shrink up. And then once you press that down, that glue is going to stick. So you want to wiggle it and work it just real lightly. And then once you get all the... The edges kind of pulled out and get it all flat 
then you can start pressing it down good but uh to pull that back up you end up stretching your fabric so it's best to work this stuff just uh real easy and a little bit at a time now this glue here is, is pretty well ready to stick so i'm gonna have to hurry while i talk to you because i can't pull this down with uh, one hand but it's forming around real nice i heated all of this area up like i told you before and then put glue on now i've got the pontiac arrowhead emblem here uh, that was actually off of like a i don't know a g6 or something i just heated that shaped it and glued it onto my dash and now the vinyl shows a pontiac emblem i think that's going to be really nice got my tweeters here all these contours are really forming really nice uh, I didn't think that I was going to be able to do this once I got to this area. It looked well beyond my capabilities. But you uh, just have to keep going, guys. Don't give up because at this point, I think I'm going to be able to do this. Now I've got a couple spots on the back of this tweeter. I've got a couple spots here and then on the back of this tweeter spot. And then, of course, this area is going to be a pain. But I will, at this time, uh, this glue is ready to go, but I'm going to go ahead and, and lay this down real lightly and then basically like that. All right, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to flip the camera off to do it, but I'm going to heat this area right here and then try to pull this and stretch it and start up here and start laying it down and smoothing it out as I go and pull this over. That's that's just gonna be a, a big stretch, but I stretched it worse up here Stretched it harder right here than I did down there So I think it's gonna work out great um, Some of my glue Actually went through this material because it is thin I uh, don't think I've got any over here But it doesn't have a backing like this vinyl here um, Here's a piece so here's the backing it's just a cloth and I did apply the glue lightly but it was too heavy in a couple spots so if that shows up then I will have to correct that rip that off and fix it before I put this in place this is the uh, if you remember it's been a week for me so I'm sure y'all remember because it's been just a few minutes but anyway, that will lay in the hole and I'll glue it. Once that's glued in, it's pretty well set. So it would be a pain to replace this afterwards. So anyway, I'm going to get to gluing this and I'll get back with you in a minute. Alright, give y'all guys an update here. I went ahead and poked the hole that I'm going to have my old oh crap handle. You know, the handle you hold on to when you're saying old oh crap. Yeah, I got a billet one to replace the factory one that was here. And I went ahead and wrapped around all of this. I messed up right here where the radio goes. Uh, had to heat this like super hot right here. I needed more material than I really need than I really had right there. So uh, kind of patched in a little spot, but it's gonna be at an angle. If it shows, then I'll just try to patch it better. But all I got to do now is trim up all these areas. Just go around everything and trim it up and pull all this stuff right here tight. Pull it down and over here, around the edges, all these. Just, you know, pretty much, pretty much done. Flip this over here. Show y'all what I got going on back here. This is going to require me pulling this back a little ways and heating this up and trying to stretch this out. You'll be able to see this through the windshield where that's at. You won't be able to see it if you're sitting in the seat. But uh, I do want that to look way better. I can I can get that, I think. If I got this other stuff, surely, or, you know, wrap around that, surely I can pull that out get that right. And on this side is nowhere near as bad. But let's see, yeah, the dash actually is going to stop right here. So that will need to be pulled out as well. I may have to... Pull the glue all back off and stretch that a little bit better. Um, I actually nicked it right here with my blade, and that is going to show. I'm not rewrapping this dash. 
this is a pain so I've got some let me go get it shop some mess I'll show you what I'm talking about right here ordered this uh, this glue right here this is some CA glue like I've told you in the past um, but this has got some rubber built in it and it is black so there we go so let's see hyperbond rubber reinforced uh, whatever that word is CA glue alright so I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of that and stick on there get my film right here stick on there and uh, just just a tiny tiny dab and I'm gonna like practice on a piece and make sure that the black is gonna not show up like a sore thumb there but the tweeter is going to be these I've already cut these out um, I didn't film any of this as I was doing it because I didn't have a YouTube channel but I do now these screws are attached to the magnet I'll show you guys what this is gonna look like so uh, this will fit now I've carved this out this is just MDF ring and I actually cut it out I glued but the glue didn't hold so I'm gonna re-glue this with that CA glue because I think it's a lot better than what I was using but that has to be on there at the uh, the uh, high pass crossover so it is required but this fits super tight and actually once you get it in you can't grab a hold of it and even get it out so you have to take a screwdriver or something stick in the hole or the edge and pry it out I'd rather do the hole than the edge now that I've got it vinyl but that sits down flush and actually I think I may paint these black I may leave them I don't know that can be an easy job later if it messes with my wife if she wants them black I'll paint them black not a big deal but I think that'll look really nice on the dash it's gonna sound great actually at this angle I might actually be able to get this out since it's not straight up and down nope can't get it out but anyway I think it's gonna look great so uh, I will definitely update you uh, you can see the 3d effect of that that's the uh, Pontiac emblem it's gonna look wonderful I think I'm gonna have something really good I'm gonna be proud of this so all right I'll keep you updated Okay, I'm giving you a little bit of an update while I'm letting the glue dry. I'm redoing all of the suede inside here. I just didn't like how it looked. So um, tonight I'm going to try to get this part here done. I'm letting this dry really good before I try to stick it. I put it super light here. Hopefully it will not bleed through like it has been. I'm running out of material. This is the third time I've done this piece. so. It's just kind of tricky, but I've got my billet handle on there. This dash is actually upside down, but this looks really nice. The handle looks really nice on there. I've got my tweeters fitted. They sit flush. And they look nice. So it all trimmed out good. Uh, it's just looking really good. So... All right, I'm going to keep working, and I'll update you after I get this piece in. All right. All right, guys, I wanted to give you a last update on the dash. I don't have it installed. I just kind of fitted it in there. But I think it's not perfect. i got a spot right there. And that's going to be uh, right there in the way. You can see it all the time, but I think it'll be all right car's not perfect anyway it's not perfect because I'm not hiring any of this done I'm doing all this myself got the tweeters up here it's smoothed out really nice the handle looks nice everything just flows together real good I went ahead redid all of this it looks good I didn't bleed through anywhere that's gonna collect all kinds of dust but the trim ring is glued in. That was a pain. 
um, I don't have any tricks for that. So can't give you any pointers. It just it's a pain in the butt. Uh, mainly the pain was not allowing the glue to show. So hopefully that's not going to be too bad in the sunlight or anything. Because it is there. I'm not pulling it back off unless it starts falling off. So anyway, I think it looks really nice. Feels good. Feels way better than the factory one. So, there it is. Thanks for watching.